when the loads having equal magnitude are connected to the star connection, we get the star connected balanced load system. The line currents have equal magnitude but differ in phase. For the balanced system, the current flowing through the neutral wire is always zero. Thus we can easily remove the neutral wire from the system. Let's draw the phasor diagram for this system. Taking VRN as a reference, the two phases VYN and VBN are drawn 120 degrees apart from each other. Being the inductive circuit, the current lags the voltage by an angle phi. Now the phase of VNR is drawn opposite to the phase of VRN. The phase of VNY is drawn opposite to the phase of VYN. And the phase of VNB is drawn opposite to the phase of VBN as shown. Completing the parallelogram of phases VRN and VNY, we get the resultant as VRY which is the line voltage. Similarly, we get the other line voltages as VYB and VBR. It is clear from the circuit diagram that the line voltage VRY is the sum of the two phase voltages VRN and VNY. From the phasor diagram, the angle between VRN and VNY equals to 60 degrees. According to the parallelogram law of vectors, VRY square equals VRN square plus VNY square plus 2 into VRN into VNY into cos of angle between VRN and VNY. But VRN equals VNY equals VPH and VRY equals VL. Hence we get the relation VL equals to root 3 into VPH. And from the circuit diagram, the line current equals the phase current from the star connected system. The power is given as P equals 3 into V PH I PH cos phi. But VL equals root 3 V PH and IL equals I PH. Hence power equals root 3 VL IL cos phi.